Today in House Talk, we've been hearing a lot about the housing market and the slow road to recovery. But what about the market for others who own other properties? We talked to an expert to find out. The housing market is starting to pick up. But the market isn't just made up of your typical single family homes. Condos, like this one in East Greenwich, are also included. Condo is a form of ownership, so it's not, it doesn't look like any one thing. It could be a single family home, it could be a high rise building, it could be uh, separate, separate homes in a, uh, in a planned neighborhood. If you're looking to purchase a condo in one of these areas, you'll want to be aware of how they have been impacted by the market. Condos really weren't as affected as single family and multifamilies were in the last year. And as a matter of fact, last year the median price of condos actually rose and the sales you know, stayed about level. That being said, this year uh, we've seen a decrease in prices and a decrease in the sales. Although there's been a decrease, there are still many people that are interested in living in condominiums. But if you're a large family looking to move into a new place, condos probably aren't for you. Generally the part of the market the condo was filling was either sometimes first time home buyers, young professionals that really spend most of the time at work and don't have time for exterior maintenance and mowing lawns and things like that. And the other end of the spectrum would be uh, the empty nesters, the people who maybe had bigger homes and now the children are gone and they really don't need all that much space. Condos have great amenities, everything from pools to function space. And the best part, no yard maintenance. But with all of the perks, there's a few words of caution that potential buyers should consider. Do the research, find out uh, how well established they are, how well funded they are, if they have reserves, if there are plans for expansion, if you're aware of them. And other things to keep in mind when looking at condos is restrictions. Some condos don't allow pets or even children. Don't forget about financing. Some condos aren't always available to the optimum financing that's out there. For more on condo living, head to foxprovidence.com.